Okay, so I'm back to show you what I've been making, give you a flip through of them and these will all be available in my Etsy either tomorrow or Tuesday. So I've done four file folders in total and they're all going to come with a lavender bag which I have sewn so the lavender won't come out and then put some sari around it. So I've made four of those up. So I'll show you this one first because this is the one that I've been making on camera. And this is from Nadine's shop. So I've put a book plate on, I've left it uh, blank so you can name it yourself and um, I've got some collage underneath some vintage music paper some vintage dictionary little lilac doily then this webbing down the side which is I think it's a burlap we uh, webbing and then that's a doo -doo number from Tina at Shabby Dabby Doodah and then like I say the kit is from collage type and it's got a little butterfly die cut and then some of the the webbing here so in the <coughs> front I'll open it up actually so in the front cover there's this large journal card and that's the paper from the kit just put this um, die cut corners on and then a butterfly just a little bit of lace there and it's all been sewn around and a tab I won't put everything back and I'll do that after um, let's ignore that bit for now <laughs> on this side we've got two little mini file folders I've just stuck them on as pockets and I've just put a little card in in each one so that's that and then there's the papers at the back and then just some crocheted lace trim down the down the side so that's that so on this side this is what you'll have seen me make this triple envelope and um, so we've got a little envelope here with a card em and some backing paper Again, another envelope stenciled at the back and they're just two pieces from the kit. I think I'm going to struggle. And then just a, a journal card there. And then a window pocket. More stenciling. A, a label from the kit. Just a little bit of... I can't really call it a collage because I only use one piece of paper. <laughs> but the paper was so nice I did want to include it. And then this big journal card which I had to recut to, to get in. And then I forgot to ink it. <laughs> so that's that. Nice tall card. And at the back of this one I've uh, put manila card just to strengthen it so it wasn't so floppy and I've put this little corner tuck in it's got two tags and a long thin notepad and that was some coffee staining that I did with some plastic lace and I've done that in the in the red bush tea and it's come out really nice so that's that and that's a page from, from the kit. So we'll open this up. So in the middle there's a pocket, like a file folder type pocket. Made two notebooks with vellum, printed the kit onto vellum which looks so pretty. And inside it's got some parchment paper in and I've hand sewn that in just on a three hole pamphlet and again another one for the lovely vellum looks so pretty and then I've done two large 
envelopes in the vellum. These have been machine sewn round and then some sorry silk just to tie them off Then that beautiful picture there. So I'll just put those to the side and then on this side I've got a collage here that's a piece from from the kit and that's a number from Shabby Dabby Doodle and a little die cut and it opens up that's for writing space oh you can't see um a little stamp there and then again a little corner tuck with two little journal cards in and then I've done a large tag there with a beautiful um what's that aubergine um bows that that I got and that just goes down there like so just put the bow over <laughs> and then in this side pocket here is a large notepad I think I've got it upside down again it's printed on the vellum and this has got different sort of parchment paper and that's been three whole pamphlet stitch so that is the first one turned out really very pretty and that's the the back cover these are done with the uh, file folders what what have come from america so they're a different size to to ours so i'll measure it from the right at the top it's nine and a half inches by nearly six so that is that i'm just going to pause Put everything back and then I'll get the the next one ready so the second one that I've done is using a couple of kits from Artemis again it comes with its own lavender bag Um, let me open it up it's done up with some lovely sorry silk and we've got a number from shabby dabby doodle it's just got a little bit of lace here and then it's collaged on top of some i think that's tissue paper and then some book page and a paper doily and then this lovely image from artemis kit um i can't actually remember what the kit's called i think it's called watercolors but all the kits that i've used will be in the description Oh, I've not opened this one for, for a while, so I've totally forgot um, how it goes. So let me just get that fully in camera. I'm just going to sit down for a minute because my, my back's hurting. So when you open it up, there's two envelopes that flip out. Uh, they're both envelopes from, from the kit. And then they've just got little cards inside. And then that one's just got a die cut butterfly on. And then there's a little pocket here. This isn't from Artemis kit. Um, again, I forgot what the kit is, but um, it, it will be in the description. They're Artemis. I won't say that the Artemis I will just mention what what isn't then we've got a die cut here and here and another pocket which those two are from from the same kit so they go there and then the paper is from from the watercolor um, kit that that she did so that is that then let me check that all in frame like so <clears throat> so I've got another envelope flip out with a little matching card some lovely lavender and lilac die cut and butterfly and then that's one of the Tim Holtz slot pockets which has got lots of little tiny tags from different kits 
um, paper packs. So I've just been saving all my purple ones up. Then we've got a CD case where I've stenciled with the Tim Holtz stencil. Just done a journal card and backed it with some lined paper. Oops. So that's that. Turn it over. I've just backed it in in the paper. I think this one is one of her collage kits that Artemis did. I think it's partly a watercolour one and then partly a collage kit, but it is it's one of the first kits that, that I did did buy ever. So we've got another pocket here from scrapbook paper and we've got a big coin envelope. I can't remember what's in it. Oh, I think it's stuck. <laughs> oh dear. Right, I love a mess about. Oh dear. That's it. So it's just got got a little card. I shall just fix that. It's a good job you do check all these these things. So yeah, it's just got a matching opening journal card. So that's that. And then I've done a little buckler with tea stained paper inside. So that's that, and it's been sewn around. And then here is one of the frame things what I've been doing. So there's some write, writing paper there, and then a card what you can also write on. So pop that there, and then another couple of dies so that's that close that then this pocket which has got some lovely embossed uh, card in like an aubergine and it's got a little um it was like a little ribbon strip that is paper but then i've stuck a, a real bow on the top of it and then we've got two envelopes in vellum, which have been sewn round, and then pretty seam binding on them. So that is that. And I'll say it's a bit of collage at the back and a die cut. And is there something in here? No, I think I left that open that that could be used as a big a big pocket. Um so <laughs> I've totally forgotten. In here. Yeah, I was going to put it in there, but it, it ended up um really pulling on this. So I've done just a little TN. It's got a couple of cards and a opening tag and then that's that tea stain paper that I've done that you can see the patterning on it. I don't know if I've got this upside down or the right way. No, that's the right way. And then it's it's just plain coffee sta uh, tea stain paper. Some quite nice markings on some of them. Just done a three hole pamphlet stitch and then another pocket at the back. This has just got a little sewed and two little, yep, like so. So that goes there. Yeah, I did these um, before I started on the one that I've actually filmed. So it's it's been a good few few years. <laughs> it's surprising how you forget. So yeah, that, that goes in there and it, it fitted nicer in there than it did in there. So you could put something in there or you could glue it up if you didn't want to to use that. And then that's the, the back cover. So that is that one. So again, I'm going to pause the, the DV, DVD, <laughs> the video while I get the next one. So this is the third one and this is mainly using 
the kit from Shabby Dabby Doo and I think it's called Lavender Mist. Again, it comes with its own bag of dried lavender. So this one is tied around with a really pale uh, chiffon tie round. It is attached and it is quite a, <coughs> a long piece. Can be cut, cut off accordingly. Right, let's have a look through this one because again, I, f I forgot what it looks like. <laughs> Are we in view? Yeah, that's about right. So you turn it over and it's got this lovely page here that is one of my favorite pages from from the cat and it's got a big journal card which i've just done a little bit of collage that's some vintage music paper and i've left it quite raggedy and put a page tab on so that's that I should just leave that out <coughs> then just a piece on on there then I've done the the triple envelope again so which is oh that's the the right way so again oh I've done that stenciling before see I forgot that I'd used that lilac oh well um it's got a little card in there and then that's a, a card stuck on And we've got this one here what's well, got a tag inside that's a tag from from the kit oh but pulling things like that I shouldn't so that goes in that and turn it over it's got a little belly band here and a little tag there And then an envelope pocket again I've done the stenciling just torn that out and that out and we've got a large tag there I think again I've backed it with manila card just to give it some stability and then got a long notebook here with all different scraps all different bits and bobs and then obviously you can replace this yeah. that's that then on this side we've got a little pocket well, I've just put this little piece of ephemera in and we've got two vellum envelopes from Tina's kit. A little bit of collage and, and a label there. So that's that. And we've got, oh, I've gone a bit too low. Got a pocket there <coughs> and a little notebook. And that's a writing spot and you can write on that one so that's just using one of the journal cards and then I think at the back I did fit <coughs> fit that one so just another standard TN size got an envelope at the front with two journal cards again that's that tea stain paper it's got all, all different batches in and then another envelope with another two cards I think that is that is that one so that's that I think there's something on the back yeah and then I've done a big pocket there and a large journal tag so that is that one beautiful kit to to work with i really enjoyed the the colors so i will pause again 
and I will come back and show you the final one. And this is the fourth and final one. And again, this is using Shabby Dabby Doodah's kit. Um, this one is with the UK folder. So the other three was all, all the same. This one is just over nine and it's seven. So there's not much in it. Um, you just get a little bit more width with this one. So again, we've got the chiffon around it yeah and got some pretty crochet trim on the side little fussy cut uh, fussy cut die cut there and then Tina's papers a little bit of collage and a number and a little pocket here with a stamp tag and that's Ali the Cockney Crafters uh, coffee and tea digital a couple of more butterflies let me just move that out of the way so it opens up and here there's two little files in the bottom one there's three journal cards and in the top one there's three journal cards and then I've just put some Tim Holtz tape down the side. Then, oh, I'll leave that a minute. Let's move that over here. Some vintage music paper on the back, one of Tina's numbers. And then, yeah, oh no. <laughs> That's it. And you open this up and I'll put all little die cuts in there now I have left that that you can have that as a pocket um, I just didn't want to put anything in because I didn't want to hide um, well I think I did yeah um, I didn't want to hide the the beautiful flowers so I just kept it like that so this is an envelope for um, like a wedding invitation I've just took the two sides off and then I've stuck the sorry so round the back of it so then oh oh dear oh that's going to be quite quite short that is the only thing with um sorry it can be um quite fragile I'm gonna have to see if I can Got some some ribbon around that. Oops, a daisy. Um, so in here there's a jumbo tag. The pretty bow on it, and then I've just yep. Oh dear, it's all going wrong now. Um, some crocheted trim up the across the top. Then we've got this big pocket here with the embossed paper uh, and that is a bit of ribbon and then a little element from the kit this is one of the kit pages I love that that it looks like a proper book and then I've just put tea stained paper so this is like an A5 um, notebook I think there's like 40 sides in. Done three whole pamphlet stitch and just collaged and put some numbers on. Yeah. And then just on a hidden spot there because that's my favourite thing to do. So that goes back in in there. Then in here. I can't remember what this says. Oh, I've just done it as um, like a large, very large journal card, but you write inside. So I've just done, done some stamping either side. I thought that was quite, quite cute. So that can go back in there. And then 
I've done the trio of envelopes again. Have I put anything in there? I don't think I did. So there's just a little uh, slot pocket here with just some tickets and little elements. Did I not put anything in? No. Um, oh, and it's only got two envelopes, hasn't it? Yeah. And then we've got the, the large journal card there. And this one's got a double window. Um, my friend sent me this from, from America because <clears throat> we don't get these double um, slots. <clears throat> so they're quite, quite unique. Then I've just left this plain and just put notes on in case it wanted to be a, a journal spot. And then, oh yes, because I put the other envelope there. Yeah. I maybe should have rehearsed. <laughs> um, got an envelope here with just a matching card inside. It's done with scrapbook paper. And then just two little journal cards or elements and in here we've got a little notepad with tea stone paper in it it's all been sewn round and then three whole pamphlet stitch <coughs> and there's a, a butterfly up there <coughs> and done this a script stamp and a little number <coughs> excuse me uh, and uh, a die cut butterfly and some florals and there's a little side pocket here just put the the book one on again because that's my fave got a little card there and then we've got two of the vellum envelopes so I think that is that. I don't know if there's something at the back of here. Let's have a look. I hope I can rectify that. I might have to come up with a, cut that off and then come up with a totally different closure. Oh, what a shame. Anyway, um, so we close all that up. <laughs> Yeah, just left the, the back plain. Then just done a little bit of collage. So, gosh, I'm exhausted after doing that. So that is all, all four of them. So we've got the, <coughs> the two using Tina from Shabby Dabby Doodars. Got the one using Artie Mays. And the one from collage type so they will be in the shop in the next couple of days so thank you very much i think i'm going to go for a lie down now i feel absolutely exhausted so thanks for joining me i hope you think they're nice i think i'm gonna have a bit of a rest now from file folders i've done an awful lot in the past couple of months and as you can see there's a lot of twists and turns in them and and stuff and they are quite quite tiring really to to make so i'm going to be making lots of embellishments and things so that'll be something different because i've not made any embellishments for a while um and i'm building a stash up of um ephemera that i'm making with um the Edith Holden doing the 3 and 15 and the Tim Holtz um, doing the Shabby Dabby Doodars mass mail. So I've got lots of pieces, but um be nice to get some ephemera. Um, and then when you make it things, it, it makes it, it a lot quicker. So that's me for now. See you soon. Thanks for joining me. Bye.